Hello, good evening, and actually I think it's good morning. Didn't we? Yes, I think the sun is certainly rising. Yes. Good morning, and welcome to the Democratic Bermen, uh, where we are situated by the uh, food, the heart of the food. Food. Yes, the heart of the food that we eat and consume and live off in our great republic. We last time, again, if you subscribe to the concept of chronology, uh, <clears throat> we followed this guy to the border because he was going there with a load of chemicals was worth almost a hundred thousand rubles. It would have been worth a hundred and six thousand dollars, but uh, no, well, we we sold it for rubles. But I am a little bit tempted <clears throat> to really hit the afterburners with the pensions fund and take a train to it and go to export dollars four dollars <clears throat> there's some issues uh, we got uh, for one thing I think the, let's see which way is the no the western belt line is that way so we need to go that way in any case uh, However, it would be nice to just be able to go <laughs> that way as well, really, from here. And um, let me see, let me think about this. This will be a train that will stay here and wait until loaded. So. I can have a little truck going while the train is in the station and that won't take very long, I don't think. Instead of tearing down this, uh, uh, which is supplying the, the, the industry, the textile industry, at probably uh, quite a bit more, <laughs> quite a bit over supplying to the textile industry with chemicals. Yes, we have two trucks waiting here. One is crops, one is crops. No, this is one of my clever trucks. <laughs> it didn't work out. <laughs> no. Boo hoo. Meanwhile, you are soon out of chemicals. At least, no, you you were something else. Do we have any trucks with chemicals heading over here? Try to be clever. Didn't work out at all, at all. That's uh, even though I told you, I'm pretty sure I told you to here load chemicals and unload crops but you do not wait until unloaded of course and now you are stuck at a place that accepts your crops but already have a bit stored up we will be long it will be long before your crops here are needed um, there is always something with this game isn't there always something Yes, always something. I will fix that. Uh, see you later. See you soon.
Ja du, hur fan ska vi lösa det här då? Tut på dig med Ja, det är ju för att produktion står still där borta alltså. Och kemikalierna tar snart slut där. Vi samma, vi kommer tillbaka hit. And cut. And welcome back to exactly where we left off. Only I think only a few days has passed. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Nothing has changed. The truck is still there with its 16 tons of props, which nobody wants. And I figured to hell with it. I don't care. I wanted to build a rail, a chemical train, a train, <clears throat> a chemical exporting train is what I wanted to build. And I would like it to come off here for reasons that will become clearer as time goes by. Yes, there is a plan to the madness. I wonder if it is possible to sneak out a pair of tracks here. Maybe. Just maybe. We'll try. Let's see. No. No. No way. No way. Not going to fall for that. But I am going to accept that. Yes, going great so far. And the reason for doing this, uh, dear, dear children, is that we are, uh, we then have the ability to go basically anywhere we'd want. We could go that way. We could go this way. Yes. And the uh, cargo train station is what we want. And we would probably want a warehouse or something. No, uh, we said that the... Uh, yes, we said that the train could be standing, sitting at... We'll see. We'll see. Let's uh, put the cargo train station in far away here so that we have enough place to do switching and stuff that trains like to do as far away as possible please i think that is about there yes and then we do yes no. No, no 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 you can certainly do this for me please thank you please you are you will be able to Build. I guarantee you that this will work. Yes, thank you. And we come around a bit like this. Maybe we should uh, even make it a bit uh, wonky to... Well, not that I expect that many uh, chemical trains. Still, isn't it, it, isn't it a bit uh, fun? for the train to do something like uh, like this I may be setting me up for do, for something impossible where I can't get a diamond crossing in instantly uh, by doing this rather than just putting a straight a straight line in but then again well this is over engineered a bit but to, to get this solid, because we have two-way traffic going here, there's no need ever for a train, right, to go. No. no I don't think so. I can't envision it. Uh, and uh, you will put the diamond in about here, maybe? No? If I w wouldn't have been so flamboyant with the track laying there, that would have worked beautifully, but that works too. There is certainly enough space to have a block on that side of the diamond and to have a chain signal going on here and to have a regular signal going one way out here and just maybe there's enough space to put the block in here can't place some for there okay let's do it there then. and right four and me 
that is maybe unless anyway there there won't be there many that many trains here for the foreseeable future. Two hundred thousand rubles and I got one million. <clears throat> really have to start thinking about my expenses here. I really do. And how much is this? Ninety thousand. That wasn't too bad. Uh, we also need a road cargo station. I think I could have torn down the road here, and I, probably there was a factory connection. Yes, but no. We're doing this with trucks for some reason. Uh, a road car. Why? I always have such trouble finding the road car station. It's the same thing every time, and it is ridiculous. Medium gas yeah, station, trolley bus, road cargo station. There you are. Swing you around a bit, like to about here. Yes, or do we think that? The forklift will comply with this distance and everything. Yes, thank you, forklift, for once being helpful. Ah, beautiful. This turned out perfect. Now, I'd say that we put two trucks on here. One of, we take two of the trucks that we have. Sorry, it might not look that I know what I am doing, and it might be a bit nauseating. Um, I just realized I'll try and be more gentle. Let's see here. Yes. We want these trucks to go from about either here or here. I don't know, are there any trucks in at the moment? There are two waiting there, there are none waiting here. So I suppose go here and don't do anything else. Forget about your previous orders. There we go. Go there, load not 100% of anything, just load up on the chemicals, please. Like that, and then you go there and you unload, and most important of all, you wait until unloaded and go. And look at you and Copy you onto one more, that one, and go. And I believe that this one is the Google exporter one. Yes, so I will send him off as well. Uh, I am barely scraping by on the rubles. Actually, I'm going back even, yeah, without the investments in building, I think I'm breaking even, more or less. Uh, yes. So, well then. Well then, is everything working all right here? Yes, there appears to be plenty of food available. Yep, what are you doing? You are, you are running away with 103 tons of food. Wow. That's so, certainly a lot of food. And here's uh, full of food, and here's food, food alcohol, uh, not many crops, and I just to check, don't think that there is a an abundance of crops here, no, the train is waiting, it is a third way full, there is quite a bit of strain on, pardon me, on the resource of crops here, since we are using them for quite a bit of stuff. You know, we use them for, um, yeah, all that you see going on here is used to feed the people as I've been going on about, either through, uh, I guess, food, uh, the bread is what is produced at the food factories, it certainly looks so, either that or it goes into the meat factories over there to be turned into uh, meat, yes. And uh, yes, we were 
doing uh, the chemical export exporter train that will see the pensions fund take on a height which have has not previously been barely even imaginable apparently you are without power supply not good where are you getting your power from you, ah yeah i see that a bit i got your power from down there righty ho let's see if there is not a power connection available from wherever it is that you get your power from i i guess it is here and i also guess that no there are none available but i think that where the where are you going you're going all the way out there yes there is certainly enough capacity to cut you off and put in a little switch push that and go here and we take a little bit of this and a little bit of that and there we go and a little bit of substation and put it in here yes then a little bit of wire there we go you have power you have power all of you have power hooray that's the alcohol truck it's actually empty I my god that's the first time I've seen it empty it does have quite a route <laughs> it, it goes I think we only have this truck going past all the pubs in the Republic so a, a truck capable of carrying 10 tons of alcohol is enough for to go around for everyone in the Republic they are not big drinkers which uh, I, mean, I wouldn't mind seeing this bit higher I think that would add to the cultural authenticity I suppose I'm I'm too good of a dictator for for them okay so already that uh, that has put quite a dent in it here's here's one of these again the clever trucks no you didn't work because you are full of crops and in order for this to work I think that you need to here wait until you are unloaded yes otherwise you're going to end up over at the clothing factory with crops that they'll have a hard time accepting because they have such an abundance so are you you yes you are you're going back good for you thank you very much now then train uh, I think that I will I will retire one of these three three trains that I've got going on here because we need a lot of oil here it turns out see oil is going down and when when a train is in the station here it takes priority and this grinds to a halt right about one right about now soon right now it grinds to a halt didn't grind to a halt, but it's uh, you see from there's a lack of smoke pouring out, smoke pouring out of the chimneys. Yes, the trains take a lot of the oil, and uh, they just stand. So I was thinking of getting rid of one of those trains and maybe repurposing the locomotive. Let's see what I got here. Do I have something nice? I have one of those, of course, and uh, something, whatever this is. DR class 119. I have no idea what that train is. I do know this one, though. And that certainly is nice. Imagine having that with boxcars, with chemicals going over the belt line. That reminds me. No, I that I, I did uh, I did buy yes, never mind, never mind that at all. I am only 
out here and riding my bike. Yes. You have fuel going for the border. You're, you don't have a full load, but you may have unloaded here. Yes, you're full there and you are full. Very good. Very, very good. Yes. Um, right then. I need to buy a chemicals train, and I was just looking at the train depot because I thought that I might have some boxcars laying about. I wonder if I do. I seem to. I seem to want to recall that I do have, but the if it isn't in here, it isn't. No. Okay, but we can uh, we can use this train depot to deploy this train. I don't see any problem in doing that. There's not just, it's just not happening that we're buying the locomotive for rubles. We need to buy it from the pensions fund, which I am not stealing from. I am only borrowing from with absolutely no intention of paying anything back. Uh, after all, it is my pensions fund as well as everyone else's. And I decide that we need a locomotive to pull some box cars that we intend to fill up with chemicals and each one of these carries 20 tons of chemicals this will be worth quite a bit this train and I really wish I could afford to put like all of going all the way out here to have like the most worth train ever in here but can I how far do I get this is <laughs> yes I would like one more I would like one more I could go the cheeky route and just do it the easy way yes I think I'm going to do the one one nice feature, if you'd like, about this game is that you can take any vehicle straight on the in the world here, like for example this one, and just sell it, and you will actually get paid for the stuff on board as well, even though it isn't worth a lot. But you will get paid for it, and I'll get one million it's worth that much. Maybe then I should, should hold on to it, because that might be a really good locomotive that I've bought at some time. Uh, yes. Uh, no. No, 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 no. What you do is uh, you go to the train depot. Train depot. That reminds me. Train depot. Let's keep you around. Let's keep you around and go visit. And keep you around. Go visit the train depot. A voice whispers to me that there is something available here in the train depot at Krosna. And maybe also here. Yes. One oil cargo wagon. Sell it 87,000 rubles. That's excellent. That means that we are able to afford that last boxcar. And I. I didn't look at the specs here, but I just thought that blue, this radiant, well, blue color, uh, it isn't right, quite blue, but it's something, maybe a red one on the end. They all carry 20 tons, that's good to know. Uh, no, let's go for one of those, yes. Right then. Chemical strain. No, yes, chemical strain. You are going from out here. Is this part of Kilarush even? No, Priamo. Huge. Where is Priamo? I intend to get rid of Priamo. Because I want to make this area part of Kilarush. Here is Priamo. Let's see. Here's out here is a uh, construction office. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can't get rid of Primo. Create, no, delete. 
delete. No, if you delete that, okay. Well, I need to create a new place that out. Uh, here. Mardanosi. We call that Margarid. And now then, maybe, can we delete this? Yes. That should make you part of Kirarush, huge chemical plant. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, and I closed down the train. <clears throat> yes, I'm very good at this game. And very good at uh, keeping the train of thought. Uh, go from here and you shall load up on nothing. This one I I don't think I need to tell to only accept chemicals, but just to be on the safe side. The safe side. Wait until you are loaded and go to go west. Life is peaceful there. Go west. In the open air. Go west. Where the skies may very well be blue. But go west. That is certainly what we are going to do once we get to the junction here for the east, for the western belt line. I think I'm sticking with that uh, with uh, was it north we said no <laughs> the simple fact of the matter is that we have Soviet Union Soviet Union NATO NATO so by that we have either east or north or something east ish north is north east ish here apparently and south Westish or something here. I don't know. Maybe it's the other way around with west, with north and south. South. We don't know. However, we are going to Vraska with this load of chemicals and we're going to go. And should we look at the train as it's going out of the train depot onto this unsignaled bit of track? Let's hope that there was no one on it. <laughs> but we will soon reach a, reach a signal and be under control. Yes. I often say this, but my railways, I, I am very happy with them. I am quite proud, actually, of my railways. Even though there was uh, the slight snarl up rather recently, as we might remember, where too long a train got stuck down there by the oil refinery. Now then, we want we want to go to yes. Are we going to make yes? We made it fast. Signal. This might take a while. You know what? We have another thing to tend to. And that is you, train. Have you yet unloaded? No, you have not yet unloaded. But you are on your way to unload. And I was thinking that after you have unloaded this, this load of oil, you should go to the train depot. Which should leave us with maybe a little bit more of oil for the chemicals industry. Yes, we're moving ahead and uh, also expanding sideways as well. We're, we're evolving both verti vertically and horizontally. Or are we not? Yes, we are.
I am very satisfied with that power plant. My only complaint is that there is not enough smoke pouring through the chimneys and that there is a lot of smoke actually pouring out of the cooling towers that should only be water vapor. How dirty, however dirty your coal fired power plant is, the coal ta cooling towers will not spew out black smoke. They will only exude water vapor. vapor. However, your smokestack, that will spew out some really nasty stuff if you've got a bad coal plant. But not the cooling tower. Not the cooling tower. Why do you think nuclear power plants have cooling towers? Where would they even get the nasty stuff to send out of there? While I've been babbling about, you are not going that way. You are turning around and you are going here. No, maybe not. That 600 and something. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel, turn around. You, I meant you. Turn around, turn around. Quickly, quickly now, quickly now. Don't mess this up. Will this work? Let's see. I think so. Yes, you are full of bitchmen. You are heading out for Vraska. Good. You are heading for the depot. Very good. I think it was a good thing that we didn't sell that locomotive. That looked, uh, that looked rather, uh, rather good. Nice to have some variation to your locomotives after all. It is. Yes, I like them, but uh, we certainly do have a lot of these. Uh, well then, since we're here, how are we doing for bitumen? And how are we doing for fuel? Okay, we are getting rid of it in enough for pace. This year, how many dollars have we made? 23 million dollars. We have imported, we have bought trains basically from for 7.3 million dollars. And um, <laughs> we're back 700,000 rubles this month. We're down to 270,000 rubles in our bank account. We are struggling with the rubles. I mean, yes, yes, I am. I am aware. There's a very simple solution to all of this. Just take everything that is put out from here and shove it in there, and the ruble account will explode. However, <clears throat> in only a couple, of, only a few years. There will be an event close to here in the Soviet Union, which for many years stood for stability and warmth and uh, togetherness in the region. <clears throat> yes, uh, that may very well come to an end. And when that day comes, my friends, we shall be well prepared by having a huge pensions fund only for the pensions of course never to be touched by politicians hands and then we will ride one of our trains into the sunset for maybe not the last time but we will sometime after the fall of the Soviet Union we will go and swim in our pension fund just as Scrooge McDuck Joachim von Anka as he was called here in Sweden you know Yes, here we got a bit more variation going on with our trains. That was uh, of 
somewhat more respectable length as well, wasn't you? Yes, you certainly are. That's nice, and all you're doing is going back and forth with oil here. What are you doing? You're selling bitumen. Has that made an impact? This year, export dollars, bitumen. 10 million! Lord, that's... There is something not right with the steel industry. Look at last year, we exported steel for 25 million dollars. This year, however, 4.5 million dollars. As always, I ha might have been going on about how well my trains work and everything, but without any doubt, there is a problem at the steel mill. We are not selling enough steel. Uh, that needs to be remedied. But after all, for now, the sun is setting on the oil refinery and the coal-fired power plant yet again. And with that, <clears throat> I thank you so very, very much for watching. And say, and wish you good night.